How are you doing today? Good. Good. I'm just going to take a quick moment to introduce myself. My name is Dusty Forsheim, and I'm a member of both the United Methodist Church, and I'm also the new therapist at uh, Three Forks School. So I get a chance to see Miss Peyton almost every day because she goes to school here too. What classroom are you in? Um, room 13, Mrs. Magnus's class. Yeah, it's a great classroom, it looks like. Yeah. Today we're going to, for Mental Health Matters, we're going to talk a little bit about um, identifying emotions and how we can help our kids do that um, because it, it can be kind of challenging. And um, first, Peyton, I just want to talk to you about like some books that you've read that are really important to you. You have a book that maybe you really like or that you read on a regular basis or yeah, want to tell us about it? It's a Sonic book. It was a comic series. It was called... Um, fate of the fate of Dr. Eggman, and I love it. Like, and you love it because is it funny? Oh yeah, there's so many funny things in it. <laughs> I like laugh really hard any time I see stuff where I'm like, whoa. That's so great. Thanks for sharing. Give us the title of the book one more time. Um, it was the Sonic Comic Fate of Dr. Eggman. <laughs> awesome. Yes. Do you like to read? And they like to be read too. Do you still like to be read too? Yeah. yeah, like, like when I was like, so, like I was still eight, and I crawled up in my bed, and mom used to come in and read to me every time. We read it, Anne of Green Gables, and we read I forgot what that was, the other one was called, but I, but it was really funny. Yeah, like, it, it's just a nice time because you can snuggle with mom or dad. Yeah, and, I usually crawl up, uh, up to the end of my bunk bed and peek over to see the photos. <laughs> I love it. Um, I want to talk to, um, to everybody just about some books that you can read with your kids that are going to help them maybe identify some emotions and um, specifically anxiety um, because anxiety um, is real for all of us. So we all experience some level of anxiety and kids sometimes don't know how to recognize it. Um, they also, um, you know, sometimes get angry or frustrated and, you know, they have all the different emotions. And of course we want to encourage them that that's okay, that all of our emotions are okay. It's what we do with them that matters. And so there's a couple of books and ideas. Um, this one's really fun, How Full Is Your Bucket? It's just about, um, keeping your own bucket full, as well as filling other people's. Um, this is a kind of an anger management type of book for elementary school kids. Uh, the Huge Bag of Worries, again, focus on anxiety and just talking about, you know, what we do with all these worries and anxieties that we might have. Um, and then I have a couple others, uh, Wilma Jean and the Worry Machine. What if everybody did that? It's kind of a fun one, talking about different behaviors that maybe are difficult. And so it sounds simple, and it is, um, but reading with our kids um, can really help us kind of um, help them start to learn to identify some of their emotions and what to do with those emotions when they have them. Um, Peyton, I see that you're coloring down there. I'm not sure if you're on screen anymore, but um, do you like to color? Yeah, it's really fun. Yeah, and um, I'm glad that you started color because I had these coloring books out, and these are also kind of a nice tool to help with anxiety and mindfulness. Um, you can find these at Target. Um, and again, kids like to color and it's really good. It helps them calm down. Um, and it's a great thing that they can do while you're chatting with them and talking to them about things that might be happening um, in their lives. So those are fun. Um, Peyton, would you mind chatting with us a little bit about um, what maybe you started in third grade? I think you were telling me about it earlier. It starts with a J. Um, we actually started journaling. So journaling is another um, really common and easy thing that you can do for your kids. And there's all kinds of journals uh, that you can do. You can do online journals. Um, I like to have the, the actual in-person in paper journal. And what I've done and what I think is a really nice idea is, um, a, you know, it gives your kid an opportunity to write whatever they want. They can also share their journal with you. Um, give them a journal, and if they have a question for you or they're struggling with something, maybe they can't quite articulate it very well or verbalize it, but if they sit down and write, write it down or draw a picture, um, that can give you an opportunity to then write back to them or try to um, ask them a few questions about what they've drawn. 
So um, journals are great for kids that are a little bit older, um, especially at that middle school and high school age. Um, but obviously, even for kids that are younger, they, they do enjoy it, and it can be a really nice tool to get kids talking about how they're feeling and what they're doing and what they're thinking. So um, I want to thank uh, Pastor Amy for inviting me and Peyton to do Mental Health Matters um, this week, and um, I hope it gave you some just easy tips for you um, to help your child. All right. Thanks so much.